Okay, so um, what we need to do for our player controller now is we need our character to jump. And if you look at the tutorial, what it's going to explain on the website is that because this object already has a physics rigid body, it already has gravity already in there, all we need to do is we need to, uh, when we hit a jump button, for example, the space bar, we need it to shoot it up a certain amount and then let it go. Uh, so we just press the button. Anytime you press the button, it should jump. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our player um, prefab, our player uh, object right there, and we're going to add another variable in there. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to call this uh, jump. We're going to add that. It is a float because it's a number. Uh, if you want more information on that, I really encourage you to kind of go look at the difference between float and integer. Right now I can't help you on that because I don't really remember, but again, I'm comfortable with that. If it's bothering you, go, go check it out. So what this is doing is it's saying when we jump, we want you to throw the, the, the character up 12 units and then come back down. So just throw it up and it'll worry about coming down on its own because there is a gravity rigid body uh, physics motion already set up. So going back to our player controller, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a jump animation. So. Let's do that. So what you're going to need is an on button input. And again, in our um, Unity setup, let's go look at that real quick, project settings, there is already a jump animation for uh, vertical. Um, and basically what this is doing is whenever you, oh, wait a minute, that's not right. Let's see if I can find the jump. Jump right there. Jump, and it should be your space bar which I don't see how that's set up in there, but that, that's where it's at, right? So you can change it right there. So what this is doing is we're going to go find this string, which is a, a word, and we're going to look for the jump input. And anytime you push it down, so you can do it to when you hold it down, it's going to send up 12 units, or when you press it down, it's going to send it 12 units, or whenever you let go, whenever you push it down and let go, that's what it's going to do. So hold down and up. That's the difference between those. So what we're going to do is we're saying on this jump uh, button event input, what we're going to do is we're going to add force on a rigid body 2D. So add force and mode. And we'll look at the differences between the two. So um, the difference between a force and an impulse. So force is going to uh, be constant, I believe, and impulse is a one-time deal. I think I'm understanding that correctly. We can actually experiment with that in just a second. So we're going to create a vector 2. Uh, we need the x and the y. x is going to stay 0. y is going to be a get variable, get an object variable. Remember, because we put that in over here, your object variable do jump not speed jump on yourself so do it so i think this should work now because we have it set up that when we hit our jump button which on mine is the space bar it's going to jump now there are some problems with this we'll get to that in just a second for example whenever you hit jump a bunch it uh it does jump but it keeps jumping so we're gonna have to fix that let's look at the difference between force and impulse oh impulse doesn't do a damn thing so I don't know why. What am I doing wrong there? I don't. Know. Not working. I don't care. I'm moving on. But there is an issue here. Uh, that is going to bother me later. If you know what the difference between force and impulse is, would you comment on that so that I can know? Because I'm feeling pretty stupid right now. But look, we can jump. So that's good. But when you hit the flag, it doesn't do anything. When you hit the spikes, it doesn't do anything. We're going to have to fix that.